I welcome you, sir. Okay, thank you, Dr. Sangeeta, for introducing me. Okay, so we'll start here. Uh, first of all, I would like to know that whether any of you have undertaken an expression in any parts of the country, small area, short area, nobody. So it means it's new uh, area for you that, uh, and uh, this is very interesting area, exploration, general exploration and collecting. This is the first and foremost activity in PGR management. Unless you collect the genre, you cannot develop a variety and you cannot conserve anything in the National Gene Bank. So that's why here I will be covering the logistics and tactics. What are the logistics during explosions and what are the tactics? What is the sampling strategy and how much number of seeds, how much number of cuttings, what material you are going to collect, what should be the number for uh, its conservation and for other purposes, other studies. So I will be covering here this. First of all, you must know what is the explosion. Explosion means you are searching for something. And as far as the PGR is concerned, you have to utilize it. So for utilization purpose and for conservation purpose, you have to go for something. And this is the first and foremost activity as, as I have already spoken here. So this activity is executed through planning. Planning is very important part of this activity. Coordination, without collaboration, without coordination, you cannot undertake a single explosion. So the coordination and collaboration is very important in this activity. So now there are two kinds of explosions. Then one is plant explosion and the another is germplasm explosion. Both are totally different because the botanists generally in the traditional university, what they do, they are Co collecting the floristic elements of any particular area. They are studying the flores, flora of that particular region. But as far as the NBPGR is concerned, we are collecting the genetic diversity in from primary and secondary gene pool. Primary and secondary gene pool, they are very important. They are, they belong to the cross, cross cr crossability species which are easy to cross, which can be easily utilized, okay. And this, in this collection, the collection based on the ecogeographic and phytogeographic surveys. As far as this is based on the primary and secondary gene pool, okay. And it is more dynamic to geographic approach, not this ecogeographic, uh, phytogeographic, but it is a most dynamic to geographic approach. This is just sort of floristic as I have told you, flora, you can develop a flora. Here you have to collect the crop resources, crop genetic resources to utilize, to conjure. These are the monographic work. Suppose some area they belongs to many plants, many floristic plants. So they, they will develop some flora of that. But here we, we, we are the studying the crop domestication trends. What is the crop domestication trend of that particular crops? Okay, the plant genetic resources generally they are having some use. That's why we call it plant genetic resources. We have to use them in the crop improvement programs. Then in taxonomic diversity includes mainly species, supra level represent here, crop gene pool including its wild natives. You know the wild natives? Wild natives, you know the you have have you heard any anybody? What is the wild natives? It is uh, natural, natural form which is which are, which are in nature. It's occur in nature, but wild relative relative it is itself it it uh, uh, indicates that it is a relative of that. It is the close one of cultivated species. Okay, so this they are only 
concentrated on economic taxa of synthesis on the basis of uses. Here we are totally based on the utilization, how we can utilize the plant genetic resources in the crop paperwork programs. So now you might have heard about the Indian Gene Center. Indian Gene Center is one of the 12 mega biodiversity centers of the world. Okay. <laughs> And out of 35 biodiversity hotspots, four hotspots are available here like Himalayas, Indo-Burma, any region, Andaman Nicobar Island, Western Ghats. These are the four hotspots of the biodiversity. And about 18,000 species of higher plants, they, are, they belong to 33% of the prevalent species of these are endemic. And these includes 1,000 wild edible plants. You can see here 1000 wild edible plants and these belong to the different parts uh, on the basis of parts, roots, tubers, leafy vegetables, bulbs, flowers, fruits, seeds and nuts. These are the edibles. Means they are immediately you can collect it. Their value is known. So that's why you can collect it. And you know that there are 320 species of crop wild edibles as per doctor. Uh, one book is published in 1984 by Dr. Arora, R.K. Arora and Dr. Rosin Ayer. Okay. See, in that book, the mention of 320 species is there. But now, another book is published in 14, 2014 by Dr. Pradeep. He, he was uh, recently he has shifted to the, this, our station at Trichur. So, he has mentioned the not only crop wild edibles of Indian taxa, but he written about the cultivated taxa. So it includes not only this uh, Indian taxa, but includes the introduced alien species also. So as per him, there are 837 crop wild edibles as per 2014. Okay. So now it, this number has increased, but I will not confuse you that these, there are only 320 species of Indian crops of Indian origin. Okay. So, which in, in crops is originated in Indian region, they belong some crop qualities. That's why the diversity is involved, the diversity is generated with the presence of crop qualities. Their role is very important. Okay. So, there are more than 10,000 plant species of ethnobotanical importance. So, under the one project, the, the, it was in 1985. Uh, and uh, 90 up to 90, they have claimed they have uh, inventorized about 10,000 species which are of ethnobotanical <coughs> importance. You know the word ethnobotany? Ethnic importance. They are having some ethnic importance by used by the tribals and directly from the forest, their green environment. So that's why it is the ethnically important species. Okay. Now, why, why we are collecting the germplasm? What is the reason for collecting the germplasm? The demand of germplasm is more. Do you know that the breeders, they want the material, they want the germplasm for utilization in their crop programs, programs. So, okay, there are a number of species, but we need to prioritize which species, which crops we have to collect. Okay, so prioritization is again very important and the many species they are going to uh, erode from the, their region. Okay, so many species that's the important that we need to collect, rescue them. And a clear need exists for it as the expressed by users. They, they want more number of general plants. And the last one is, you know that whatever we are going to collect, we are collecting. It is conserved for posterity okay it is conserved for the posterity so you know that in, in a national gene bank it is not that that whatever the material is available in the nature we have collected it not like this so after analysis of the gaps you can say that still we need to collect more general plan among the any crop group. Okay. 
Now, it is one of the important terms that rescue collection. Why rescue? Rescue whenever there some calamities are there, some constructions are there, something is going to erode it from that area. Immediately, after, uh, without, we, we should not thought about the routine explosion. We should go for the rescue collecting. Suppose you have heard about the uh, this uh, Odisha cyclone, and uh, many uh, this uh, Andaman Nicobar also it was affected by that. So it's coastal area that was affected by this. So during that time, we have made some teams, and then we go, went for the collection and collected the whatever material was there. So that type of metal at the time of rescue can be identified as a trade specific metal because some may be submergence uh, this resistant, tolerant, salt tolerant, some may be they are very hardy. So that type of material which is not affected by the cyclone. So that material can be utilized directly for in the crop improvement programs because they are having the traits. So, all wages including those with endemic distribution. So, like there is a species you have uh, I have mentioned here, Cucumus hardwicki, like that Vigna candalensis. You know, for candalensis. Candalensis means it occurs in that particular area, endemic to certain pockets. So, it means if it is eroding from that area, so we need to collect such type, such germplasm, which is endemic to that region. They are endemic, they are useful. And they are important. They may be crop wilds, they may be economic species, they may be any sort of importance. Okay? So that type of germ also we need to collect, rescue. Then in such circumstances, high priorities are assigned for rescue collection. Even then, we should prioritize that we should give the importance to the rescue collection. Now, collecting for immediate use. As I told just now that this is a the local ethnic people, the farmers, they are residing in the remote localities. They are consuming, they are substituting their own crops from the wild. Okay? So they are collecting it for the, their different purposes. They may be for food purposes, they may be uh, used it for medicinal purposes, they may be for different purposes, directly from the forest. And they are selling in the local market. So we need to think about that because they, they don't have any uh, idea any uh, that if we uproot it in future, what they, their, their generation will do. So that we need to think about that such, such type of germs also need to be collected. And unrepresented, as I told you, unrepresented uh, ecological niche like Ladakh region. You can see here, this is the Ladakh region. Here, this is the pteridam uh, area, this is cyclone heat area and this is recently uh, flood, uh, flooded area of the Uttarakhand that uh, Kedarnath shrine at that time. This was the, this you can see the whole blaze is un covering under, okay. Now this is the, this is the Ladakh area, you see the Ladakh area is cold desert area where you will see the, the barren rocks is there and very, 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 the area nearby the water sources is green. <coughs> in that area, the people are habiting, they are inhabiting in that area and growing the crops. So these are the niche area where certain species can be collected from that area. So we need to thought, think about that. Now, this is very important. Planning is very important. For planning, you need to identify where we should go and how we can go there. Planning is very important part of the general price collection. That should be done in advance because unless you have no idea about this, the crop, you should uh, the consider the herbaria, you should consider the literature and you should add in, uh, consider the, uh, the material available in the gene bank. You should consider the literature, published lister, literature. And after analyzing the gap, you can prioritize, okay, which area we have to survey. So take the planning and sampling strategy. What sampling strategy you have to follow? It may be 
for collection collecting of tree species maybe for collecting seed species maybe collecting for rare endangered threatened species so depending on that you have to prioritize you have to identify that which is which methodology we have to follow during the exploration then the question comes who will collect okay you have identified the gaps but then who will collect and from where then how it will be collected when and for how long the exploration will be carried out that should be in your mind that who will collect who will means that institute who is or that breeder should be involved in the exploration which has need of that such type of gen prize then he will be the collaborator you should accompany with him nbpgr is the nodal organization we have to support them we have to logistic support to give them and the gen prize what they want to collect they have to accompany they can select either it may be breeder or it may be any uh, science uh, scientist from the any branch of the science then who has systematic exploration has started and when at you know that this nbpgr you know the nbpgr is a branch once there was a division in the botany division in the ira okay and the this division is now converted into the full fledged institution in 1976 national bureau of plant genetic researches and here in morning also you might have heard about, about this man dr harbhajan singh he he was the the pioneer like babylon you might might have heard about the babylon indian he is known as indian babylon so babylon has visited about 50 countries and he has conserved the gen plan the collector gen plan in the leningrad and gene bank he has established okay so likewise he is also known as the uh, the indian babylon doctor late late doctor harbhajan singh so he has contributed a lot you might have heard about the pusa sauni wendy still it is in the market it has good value still so this is the discovery of the, that this man so many uh, plants many varieties he has developed okay now there are many steps this planning as i told you planning is very important in at least one two 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 month advance you should plan it because you have to interact with the collaborator you have to interact with the uh, the organizations where you have to visit like making contact with the local research organizations suppose if you are here at nbpr and you are going for collection in the patna or this uh, bihar or jharkhand so which institutes are there to whom you have to concern visit them and interact with them that whether whatever i want i am planning it is okay or not that you have to fine tune the program with the consultation of the the local organizations okay gathering equipments yes equipments gathering is also important that with equipment you have to carry with you what are these equipments that is to be one of the step meeting with the local researchers in the area to be surveyed not only researchers but also kvks krishi vigyan kendras they are very more helpful whenever you are in the certain uh, uh, difficult areas so they are more helpful they will help you in the identity the identifying the area the you can, they they will also identify the farmers and they you can contact them directly you can collect the gen plan the interesting gen plan trade specific material from them so their help is very important kvks and agriculture departments they are also very 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 uh, you need to contact them okay so then sorting out of collector simple naturally this is a step whenever you collect we come you visit some area you will come back then you will sort out you will you have to take care of that material okay then after collecting the material you have to report the to the your headquarters so report writing is important report writing is that much important because through that report you can publish a paper so as being a scientist being a researcher you should publish the information so for publishing the information you need you you need to thoroughly you have to survey that area whatever information is there you have to record either in the password data book or you can record in your own diary also so whatever you have seen every day's report you can 
note down in, in the diary, okay? And that will help you in the publication. And not only this publication, but this will also will be, uh, this will also help the breeders, the next explorer who is going to collect, because what is, what is left, it will be mentioned in that report, okay? So preparation and publication of reports, distribution of and conservation of the collector samples. Naturally, you have to distribute to the collaborator who wants to utilize this material. He will accompany you. The definitely, you will have to make the two parts of that sample. One part will go to that, that and another part will conserve in the natural gene bank. And conservation is done only on the basis of some method, some, some standards. If these standards you, it will not fulfill, then it will be rejected. So that should also be taken in, in care, okay? Then which areas where you can collect the germplasm? That is a diversity and variety rich area. Not like that barren area. Not like that uh, if you, you uh, know that Rajasthan, very, in very little pocket, the uh, rice is grown in Rajasthan, in very small pockets. So it doesn't mean that you should plan for that, okay? So where diversity is rich, like wheat of Madhya Pradesh, you might have heard Madhya Pradesh is known for wheat. Like this uh, sorghum, palmlet, it is grown in the Maharashtra, semi-arid region, Rajasthan. So you have to look, you have to see that what, where we have to go. You have to identify those areas. Unexplored, underexplored, naturally, if it is not, Covered earlier, definitely is an unexplored area. Coarse grid survey it is called coarse grid survey. And underexplored, suppose some person, some scientists have visited some areas. Definitely not, he, he could not collect each and every samples, every material. So that is underexplored. For another crops, you can again visit for the next time. Tribal dominated areas, I told you, they are very, very, very far flung areas where they are still growing the land races. You know that due to the, uh, uh, this uh, introduction of hiding varieties, many areas, they have been removed. They, the, the, the land races, they have been uh, replaced by these hiding varieties. So you have to think about that. Those pockets, those areas, which are the travel dominant. Come, come, come. Okay? Travel dominated, hot spot, as I told you, the hot spots and warm spots. Nearby, this, the, where the diversity is rich, hot spot is already identified. But where is still, you think that the, as per the uh, Dr. Nair, he has identified some hot, warm spots where you can collect, where you can approach these warm spots. All, okay, four hot spots are already there, but warm spots are also there where you can visit. Threatened habitat, naturally, where the more you will, you think that the road construction and any. A forest uh, forest felling or like this. These areas, these are the threatened areas. Okay, those these are the uh, areas where you can plan your explosion. So now this is the outcome. Okay, this this is outcome. Actually, since 1976 or before that, MBPGR has conducted over 2,600 explosions and collected more than 2.75 lakh samples from all over Iran. So it indicates that you can see here, this, this peak is showing that yes, we were progressing slowly, slowly, but this peak is showing very high, high peak. Why? At that time, 1990 to 2005, there was a project, World Bank funded project. So under that project, we have involved 132 partners from all over India. So because of their efforts, we could collect this much number of, uh, this, this peak is uh, high, very high. But now, if most of the area already have been covered, so very, now we have just focused the, uh, our collections on some trade specific material, crop wild trips, or unexplored, underexplored, difficult, inaccessible areas. So that's why this peak is going down, okay? So slowly it is going down. It means that if we have collected this much number of samples, means we have already explored almost all through the country, okay? So this map is one of the new technology that on the basis of 
diversity mapping, you can identify that which areas is left, left out areas. You can see this is the Brassica species. So Brassica is collected most of the in, in mainly from the northern part of the country. Okay. So in the southern part or in the, this area, very less number uh, accessions we could collect. So that is the gap. But even it is not that that whatever we have mentioned here, it, the map is showing it is a, it is actually the gap. No, even then you have to consider the the worker, the scientists, the organizations, and the uh, the gene banks and the research articles. Many things you have to consider, and you have to consider the local farmers, local research organization, local agriculture departments. Even then, then you can proceed for the exploration. So this, in case of this in, in, in country exploration, we can conduct it for 15 days or two weeks, for two weeks. But wherever you are going for the foreign exploration, you need one month, three months. How many? Three months. So you have to, it, it, is, it is the, and it will be based on the foreign exploration guidelines of the ICR or in government of India. To for the finalize the mission, okay, but here the NBPR is the nodal organization for a national program. So we are developing national program each year on the basis of gap analysis, prioritization of the crop, areas, and other things. So the only on that basis and as well as the demand of the breeders, not only that on the basis of our gaps, our gene bank gaps, but demands of the breeders. They are demanding workshops. Workshops they are being conducted in the different crop groups. So on, on the basis of that, we are collecting the germplasm and we are making the national expression plan. So for conducting any expression, the end expression should be well versed with the nature and extent of diversity and breeding behavior of the crop species to be collected. Nature and extent of diversity. What kind of diversity is there, what kind of diversity is available in that particular area, that you have to well versed with that. It doesn't mean that if it is only some person have, uh, have seen very small pocket, so you plan is it for this. No, you have to see, you have to consider the literature, you have to see the all gaps and then only you can plan it. The what nature, that what you have to collect that you have must plan well in advance to facilitate the preparation of the proposed mission. Okay, visit to herbaria. Why the, uh, the visiting of herbaria is important? Anybody can say? To characterize, actually the first, you must know that what is the exact period of the collection because you have to collect the seed material, matured plant when you have to plan for that. Second, what, how it looks for identification purposes that unless you are not well versed with the identification then you cannot collect the correct plants. So identification to maturity period, this locality for that purpose and in case of crop qualities, identification is very difficult. So for to clear uh, the identification problem, you can visit the herbaria and Musea because it is available, the, the representative symbol of that particular area is available in the form of herbium specimen. Okay, collaborator is very important. You cannot go alone, collaborator to select a collaborator, to uh, involve a collaborator from crop based institutes, from <coughs> state agriculture universities because they are the actual curators, they are actual users. So their involvement is very important. Okay. Then how to finalize, say what, what to do for finalization of any mission, exposition mission, you have to gather the eco-geographic information, Kesa, what, what is the climate of that area and topography, this vegetation, crop in cultivation, their maturity, these ideas you have to already, you should gather from the literature, from the contact or from any other source. So that's why you can, you can have good information whenever you are planning for the exposition. Okay, exact in person if you will have, you will definitely collect good material. Then beside experts should establish local contacts at, it is very important to establish local, because here you, doesn't know, you do not know about the which, how this area is 
is to be covered whether what is what is the status of road what is the status of material how far we have to travel so that information only you can get from the local research organizations they are actual sitting there if you are going to nes region definitely the nes asia nes will people or the their research session they will tell you that actual area here you can plan on the basis of google now google map is there on the basis of google map you can plan but it doesn't mean that it is correct you have to fine tune this uh, route map whenever you are you you are there and with the consultation of the local research organization the type of surveys generally there are two type of surveys that's multi species region specific suppose nes region okay so in uh, only you can think that about from april may july to november december or february this is the season where you can plan for the collection in that area so you have to if you visit that area definitely you have to collect whatever is available in that at that time so that is a multi crop region specific general plan collection when you are going for in the southern area or also in assam assam is rich is known rich for the rice okay suppose in madhya pradesh he is rich for the wheat suppose uh, palmillets sorghum so these are the crop specific you are uh, collecting in the, in only sorghum the millets or minor millets so you are collecting under the crop specific explosion so that is the difference between crop specific and multi species explosion so you have to take care you have to think uh, you have to just uh, divide into parts which type of expression you are conducting that one word is there coarse grid survey and fine grid survey coarse grid is general generally done in unexplored areas under explored areas means first time you are visiting and whatever material is there you are collecting but fine grid when you brought it here you have characterized it you have grown it you have seen that what type of material traits are there so then you can plan it for the if it is disease resistant material is you will find then you can plan it for fine grid surveys for comprehensive or details uh, survey you can go then multi crop multi crop expression as i already explained here then period of collection what should be the period of as i told you at this depends on the uh, and finalize on the basis of physiological maturity so so there is a passport data format there it is mentioned that where and how you can collect the gen plan so it is it is said that whatever you are collecting that should be in the form of matured seeds so maturity when the crop is there when matured crop is there in the field farmers field that should be the right time for the collecting if it is already gone in the uh, this farm store it is no use of collecting this, this gen plan because you cannot see you cannot interact with the farmers you cannot see the traits you, ne- you cannot see the plant in the the field crop in the field so then what you will collect okay so crop should be there at that time as the physio- physiological maturity should be there only at that time you can go for the collecting okay in case of species with settling head nature what is the settling nature where a synchronized not is a synchronized a synchronized uh, miniature is there in case of crop wildlife generally in crop wildlife so in that case you should plan before one 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 week before so that it is half matured is there so if it, it will be half matured then you can get the material okay so for the settling habit uh, plants or crops or species you have to plan uh, ahead for seven days or one week ahead before okay it's it's bagging how you can do bagging bagging is done only when you are planting the, in their your field but when it is we are talking about the collection in the field diversity areas variety where you have to collect it hai na in the farmer's field we are talking about the farmer's field or in forest or the periphery of the forest or the habitation where crop wild leaves are they are growing so we are talking about such such type of material then okay 
फॉर वेजिटेटरी प्रोबोगेटेड क्रॉप स्पीसी द टारगेट एरिया शुड बी सर्वेड फर्स्ट फॉरवर्ड इन केस ऑफ हाउट टीचर क्रॉप देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ सर्विस फर्स्ट दैट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द प्लांट अमंग द पॉपुलेशन दैट विच वन इज गुड विच विन फ्रॉम दैट मदर वुड यू हैव टू कलेक्ट द बर्ड वुड ओके सो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई ऑन द टाइम ऑफ ऑन द टाइम ऑफ इट्स फ्लावरिंग ऑन द टाइम ऑफ इट्स फ्रूटिंग and only then you can characterize it okay if some uh, plant out of that having big size food bearing is good is tasty sweet like this these characters these traits you have to identify and then you have to tag it and after at the time of dormant season you can go there and collect it it's uh, bud wood okay and before going there there should be the root stock available what number of germ plasm what number of set cuttings you are going to bring in in your uh, this field so that root stock should be there the how many uh, collect, uh, sam uh, samples you have to collect that should be confirmed for uh, this within the country should be of 10 to 15 days i told you and more than a month when you are out of the country okay team composition Uh, uh, it is very important team composition how many members should be there in the team i think only two teams two members is sufficient one is collaborator and other is your from the logistic support which just is giving like expert in the explosion or another one is breeder who knows the the nature of the crop who knows the its breeding behavior hai na only two two person should be there and one helper if you can take with you one helper okay if you are in the field at that time you can collaborate the another kbk person for one day for two days three days but generally when you are making a team only two persons is sufficient area and route of expression this should be fine tuned in consultant consultation with a local research organization because on the basis of google map it is not sure certain that it is exact so after consulting going there or you can send for its fine tuning to the research organizations or local research organization only then he will say that this route should be followed this should not be followed okay and the items and equipments there is a long list of item and equipments but two three things are very important which generally the explorer carry that one is passport data passport data book is very important another is gps global positioning system is very important to record the coordinates then camera is very important and the fourth one is that is cloth bag in which you are you are going to collect the sample cloth bags it may be a muslin cloth bag it may be a cotton bag okay and the fifth one is that is marker pen to numbering the sample labeling the sample so these are the very very small um, important items which you have you can carry okay if you are going for the collecting the germ uh, germ of cro fruit crops that that time you can carry these these refractometer the 40 ss and for other other thing bernier calipers or any many things we you can carry with you but generally in case of seed bearing species you have to carry these very, very small things domestic quarantine is very important do not visit those areas which are hot spots of bad fc hot spots of diseases don't collect the sample from if you are collecting the only healthy samples you can collect from and for that purpose you need to domestic quarantine is important okay so these are the item list of items survey and collecting items reference material like regional flora digital herbarium laptop like this you can take carry with you first aid box is very important and these are the some of the as i told you global positioning system digital camera with additional memory card binocular magnifying glasses hand handheld microscope digital bell caliper and portable balance okay passport data book and other things these are very important uh, items when you are going for the collecting methodology sampling site which should be the sampling sites that in accessible areas of valleys where you can get the material isolated hills villages at the edge of the desert or the in different uh, difficult areas or the in remote areas these are the sites where you can collect the material forest mountains and isolated coastal beds they they are having the rich, rich diversity where you can collect the germ plasm for cultivated species sampling site 
in the order of preference should be farmer's feed. Naturally, don't collect material from the farm store because it will not represent the actual that uh, trait. Okay, it will be a mixture. It may be a mixture. So collect the material from the farmer's feed. Prefer from first preference should be given to the farmer's field. Okay, then kitchen gardens. Naturally, there are many species, many plants which are important which are the farmers they are growing, collecting from the wild and growing in their kitchen garden. So it means they are having uh, economic value. So these are also very important. Nowadays in the NES region, number of leafy vegetables, they are selling the local markets. They are bringing it from the local, uh, this uh, forest and growing in their kitchen garden and selling in the local market. So that is, these are the interesting things. Whenever you are going for expression and expression, you should think you should keep in your mind, you should uh, so visit the local area, local market for such type of material. Okay. Collecting mission should be started first from dry rate tracks. Okay. So first from dry rate where the, uh, you will get the early the uh, dry, dried material. Okay. And unirrigated areas, the rain fed areas. Okay. In irrigated area, the majority will be early. Valleys versus hills. First valleys early maturity is there, hills late maturity is there to capture maximum availability diversity in the planned manner. So this should be the site, these are the sites where you can collect the genpal. Okay, here you can see the, the different pictures showing here this in the this bottom you can see I am collecting this material. It is It was interesting. So it was the lady was drying this material. It was black seeded rice. So that's why I could collect it. Okay. Otherwise, you have to depend on such type of strategy where you have to. Okay. Sites having stress situation like coastal areas, like salinity areas, for trade specific metal, salinity tolerant metal, drought tolerant, tolerant metal, coal tolerant metal, you need to visit this type of habit, habit, habit situation, this having stress situations. Okay, saline habitat, unirrigated, drought conditions, desert, flood prone areas, these should be identified for the collection of the, the trait specific, the salinity tolerant or like the stress specific material. Okay, for biotic stress tolerant material, hot spots of diversity, hot spots of diseases, you should visit. Okay, and frequency of selling number of sample per site should be decided based on the spot observation that if you look to the pop, uh, in the population that whether I can collect sufficient or not or it's a huge population is there. So depending on the what you find there, okay. So depending on the on spot observation you can collect the, but sampling should be this uh, random, okay. Random sampling is important, okay. In general, more sites per target area are preferred to sample the target is rather than sampling from a few sites. There are num more number of target areas you, you should. This sampling method, in general, random sampling is done, okay. In case of this crop population, you have to go for the random sampling. And by collecting single spike panicle of fruits berry pot from at least 50 plants randomly one plant from center one another from that corner another from that corner so you make 50 uh, collect 50 panicles and make a bulk for making a sample so what is difference between sample and accession there is a there, there is a definition of sample and bulk the accession sample when you are collecting from field. It is a sample unless it is, when it is given some accession number, when you bring it here, it is qualified the all standards, then you are sending it along with the all information to for allotting the IC number. It is I, what is IC number? Indigenous collection number. And another number is EC number, exotic collection number. That is material from outside countries. Indigenous means collected from the within the countries. While collecting the seed, the required quantity, okay, in case of cross pollinated crops, we need 4,000 seeds is as per the gene bank center, and for 2,000 seeds for self pollinated crops. But what we do, we need, as I told you, that we should have the collaborator. Collaborator must be there. So collaborator, what he, he will also carry the material. So 4,000 seed is not sufficient. So you can collect 
for fulfilling the other facilities other you can collect more than 4000 seeds but you have to request to the farmers farmers cannot give you the that precious material what you are going to collect okay so you have to request you have to interact you have to tell about the purpose your purpose what for you are collecting that purpose should be cleared okay only then the farmers will give you more than 4000 seeds in case of hai na but in case of the crop qualities it's very difficult to collect this much number of uh, seeds okay so for there is some relaxation is there at least 100 to 200 or 500 up to 500 depending on the availability of the material you can collect the 100 to 500 seeds in case of crop qualities because the crop qualities they are having the settling habits you will you will you can visit at the time of maturity immaturity or the population may be in uh, stretch hai na so that you need to cover more area so depending on the uh, this situation you can collect the material if you are suppose in case of as i told you very small population is there but it is interesting trait is recommended as per the instruction with the farmers it's a interest is important material then and material is very less then you can collect don't worry hai na you have to collect it and after collecting okay it will not fulfill the gene bank standard but after collecting you can send it for the multiplication at suitable site and multiplication should be done at the analog site at the same suppose you have collected the in uh, material from the mountainous area so the multiplication should be done in the mountainous area collected from the uttarakhand collected from the himachal collected from the north eastern region so that material should be multiplied in the same location it will be not multiplied here it will not express the character what it was there okay so you should take care of that the optimum sample size yes as per this uh, this brown marshall and brown is there is theory you know that marshall and brown theory so as per this the optimum sample size per site would be the number of plants required to obtain with 95% certainty of the alleles all the alleles at the random locus occurring in the target population with frequency greater than 0.05 as per the marshall theory okay in case of species with extremely small size seed low seed set asynchronous maturity then care should be taken to collect adequate sample size if only one plant is there you collect whatever material is available in the maturity in mature condition so you collect the the try to collect sufficient sample in case of extremely variable population one extremely variable suppose out of the population if a paddy is there so you see that one landes is there but uh, in that landes within that landes some plants are different population from the population then you can make a bias sampling separate sampling you have to do of that okay it is a bias it's called by bias sampling should be done if it is a extremely variable population in a situation when wild population with few individuals occur one should better collect from all the plants so as to make the representative samples from that side then in case of certain wild and semi domesticated species occurring in small pockets with scattered populations having specific use the seeds should be bulked however one should not deplete the population yes that should be in your mind that we, we it is not that whatever is material available you uprooted it collected it okay your work is your job is finished and but it will lose the the population will be eroded from that area so you should take care of how much number of samples how many number of seeds you have to bring depending on the population rarity higher endangered and other other parameters in your mind in case of large tubers like this you cannot bring it okay so what you have to do the proximal end of that tuber you can bring okay since basidae propagules are subject to rapid deterioration after harvest and damage during transplant care should be taken so you cannot careless be a careless okay you should take care of that it can uh, it can be damaged or it can be uh, affected with any many many things okay in case of cyan collection of budding and the grafting 
number of root stock, as I told you, that whatever you have collected at the time of uh, budwood, that you should keep in your mind that this much number of root stock should be there. In case of cutting and rooted suckers, grapes like grapes, ornamentals, passion fruits, black pepper, beetle vine, banana, 10 to 15 cuttings may be sufficient. Okay, if some uh, cuttings, if it did not work, survive, okay, at least you have eight cuttings should be there. So it means eight cuttings at least should be there. So then establishing taxonomic identity. Yes, taxonomy is very important for its identification. So for if the PGR is a vast subject, you know, doesn't mean that whatever mentioned in the literature you will collect you, you have to collect only that. But in case of suppose some new plants, new species having some uses is available in that particular area. Like this is, this is one of the material looks like lufa, but it is not lufa. It looks like lufa. Okay, it has some netted this. Uh, in, it is embedded. The seeds are embedded in a netted form, but it's not lufa. We brought it from the fake district of the Nagaland, and we tried to identify it. It was not identified. It ha it is its uh, leaves are used as a vegetable. Okay, we thought it is very close. It is close relative of lufa, but it was a new species that was Herpetrosperum operculatum. It's operculatum when you remove it, the seeds will come down. So we thought that it should be operculatum. It was only mentioned in the literature, herpetospermum. Okay, so we given new name and new distribution we have identified. So taxonomically, you might might you should also th th think about that. That uh, would suppose some new species you are collecting. NBBR has collected many new species at the in the time uh, at the time of explosion. So that should be taken in the in, in the. Then. Depending on the, the, the type of material, objective of collection mission, seed, what you have to collect, either in the form of seed, vegetative propagule, in vitro material, and pollen. Okay, and then you can see the herbarium. Herbarium is very important. What is the importance of herbarium? Okay, herbarium. What is, what is the importance of herbarium? It's a dried specimen used as a reference sample, preserved in some herbaria. And you can use it as a for, for taxonomic studies, for even molecular studies, for many studies you can. Herbarium is very important in case of genotype collecting. Why? Because whenever you are collecting the, a, a new species, collecting some unknown species, though it doesn't mean that you are expert, so you will collect the, the material with the name, botanical name. So it may not be a, a correct identified material. So you have to bring the herbarium. How to uh, pre, uh, uh, this prepare the herbarium? You can see here, you have to t carry with this herbarium press with you. This is the herbarium press. And this is the method of this preparing the herbarium in the field. You have to just preserve this, uh, uh, prepare a herbarium and keep in your mind that it should be pressed, okay, properly and then you change after 6 to 7 hours. Changing is very important, successive after 4 to 5, 5 to 6 hours. In the morning if you have preserved it, you pressed it in the evening, you have to change it in the morning. So after 5, unless the, the moisture is gone, okay, so moisture should not be there to dry the, this sample and you have to take care of this herbarium also whether some leaves are some leaves should be dorsal some leaves should be ventral side you have to take keep keep, keep in your mind and then you can press okay and the sometimes what happens if you will not take care of such type of method or you will not follow the procedure of herbarium preparation then you can lose the color of the herbarium you can lose the color of flower you can lose many things Okay, so herbarium preparation is also very important. Okay, transportation again in case of suppose some material which is recalcitrant type of material you are collecting, 
सपोज चिरंजी यू हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट चिरंजी क्या होता है इससे ड्राई फ्रूट चिरंजी यूज इन द खीर और लाइक दिस एज ए नट है ना बट इट इज ए रिकेस्टेंट टाइप ऑफ मेटेरियल सो फॉर दैट पर्पज इफ एनी मेटेरियल विच इज पेरिसेबल सो इफ यू डोंट हैव टाइम यू कैन सेंड इट थ्रू ट्रांसपोर्ट यू कैन बाय एयर लिफ्ट और एनी एनी थ्रू एनी मेथड्स यू कैन सेंड टू द हेड क्वार्टर सो दैट टू ली सेव नो आई विल नॉट दिस इज द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन पासपोर्ट डेटा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट वट इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट एवर द पासपोर्ट डेटा पैरामीटर्स आर दियर यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड एंड यू हैव टू इंटरेक्ट विद द फार्मर्स यू कैन सी हियर इंटरेक्टिंग विद कलेक्टिंग द मेटेरियल एज वेल एज रिकॉर्डिंग द फार्मर्स दिस पासपोर्ट डेटा हियर इन द इन द फॉरेस्ट विद द ट्रैवल इन द फार्मर्स प्लेस विद द लेडी ओके सो it depends that who, who is uh, giving you the material and these are the some related informs as itk or informs you know that itk related information you have to also record about the uh, this erosion how many land asses what is a land ass can you add eh land asses are the primitive cultivars cultivars aage primitive cultivars aage maintained by the farmers आगे मेंटेन बाय द फार्मर सिंस लॉन्ग टाइम इन ए पर्टिकुलर जियोग्राफिक कंडीशन है ना हैविंग एडेप्टिव कैपेबिलिटी एडेप्टिव टू दैट पर्टिकुलर जियोग्राफिक कंडीशन हाँ हाँ यस ओके सो रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन यू हैव टू रिकॉर्ड इफ सम न्यू स्पीसीज लाइक दिस अरे यार क्यों भाग रहा भाई दिस Horsonia heteroclita. It's very important having 70% of oil, having big nuts, and growing in the northeastern hill region. It's still good germ plant. Need to identify. Need to study. It has got 70% oil. So such type of material, if you come across, then you should collect it. So what for it is utilizing by the people. You can see here this lady is making a vegetable of out of that this. This is a nut inside kernel. This is the kernel vegetable of, from the kernel, having 70% oil used as a medicine. So such type of information you have to record whenever you are in the field. Like this tetragona, crotalaria tetragona is a very close relative of the sun hemp. Okay, but in NES region the flowers was eaten as a vegetable in non-vegetarian or other things. Okay, so. this depending on your own own vigil okay you have to alert you have to be alert in the field that okay this material i have collected but what is that search idea search you must have hai na what is that why it is uh, drying here what for it is drying here that type of curiosity you should have only that then you can collect the good material you can related information and the interesting material okay there are many things that uh, like this is the biden spilosa generally a weed of hot area hot and humid area but growing in the cold desert area and being cultivated by the local people for making local tea so it's a weed but they are growing it okay and again he here is the, the last example this is apple muscus tetraphyllus generally you have heard about this making the good making industries are there in the meerut and other area in this area up they are using this the roots and stems of this plant though it is a wild they are making it for for what purpose you are just doing like this what for us and what purpose form, impure form yeah for to to remove the impurities it has got mucilaginous mucilaginous uh, stem having mucilaginous yeah so that's why it is used locally but earlier it was available in the local field local area but now it has gone from that area because the for many purposes for construction for any other it has been gone from that area now the people they have started cultivation 
its cultivation. So it is being cultivated in that particular area, this Bijnor and the Tarai area of the Uttar Pradesh. Okay, and making only for their own consumption purposes, not for sale purposes, only for local purposes. So that is, these are the some of the important information what you have to, you need to record. And here, you can see here, this I have forgotten. This is the rice uh, beer. Rice, a particular Aho time, uh, rice from the Nagaland, sorry, uh, Arunachal Pradesh in uh, Changlang area. They were uh, preparing the beer, local beer out of that. And then uh, also uh, mixing some local herbs. Okay. So, such type of information you need to record whenever you are in the field. Okay. Then post collection. Definitely if you collect it, definitely you have to take care of that material. Seed extraction, cleaning is very important part of that material. Okay. You can see at the time of uh, the your stay, uh, when you are staying, you can you can dry itself in that uh, uh, that area. You can just make some. You can see here. This is being uh, packed by the person in the cloth bags. Okay, it is drying in the in the in the site. Okay. Then packaging and labeling is again very important. Packaging should be done and, and properly it should for, for its transport, for its uh, uh, division. One part you have to send for National Gene Bank, one part you have to send it for um, uh, this uh, correct ration and other, other types. So packaging, labeling should be properly. Then establishment maintenance of vegetative propagated metal. Whenever you collect this vegetative propagated metal, it should be maintained, established either in greenhouse polyhouse, wherever, whatever the facility is available with you. Detailed studies on elite metal. If any elite metal, interesting metal, elite, you think that it is elite metal, interesting metal, you have to do the, the detailed studies and then record, not in one year, three year, four year, after five years, you can get, generate the data on that elite metal and you can register also. One of the facilities there, you can register this material, which has got some specific characters. Then report writing definitely is a very important part as I told you in the earlier that is a very important part. The report writing is very important and what parameters you have to mention that after completion the mission of general plan exposure and collection and processing of the character material it is important to write the compressive report to fulfill the mission's objective. Okay? This will help in follow up the collecting. Suppose some other some person wants to collect in next year. You will give the details of that material, what you have collected, and what you have collected, number of samples, how many samples, how many samples of that interesting metal you have collected, depending that mentioned you have to make in the in the, your report, and on that basis the further expression can be undertaken. Okay, so the uh, report on the expression and collection should broadly include name of the organization, name of the scientist, collaborating organization objective of the collective mission, a description of the environment of the target area, an account of the logistic and scientific planning, details of the execution of the mission, timing, iterative, sampling studies and collecting techniques. A summary of the result, area surveyed along with route map, general plasma, herbarium distribution collected, indigenous knowledge documented and extent and magnitude of diversity collected with elite general plasma, if any, role of open in conservation of diversity details of sharing general plans and information, photographs, an account of loss of general plans, if any, difficulties encountered during collecting mission, recommendation for follow-up actions and acknowledgements. So these are the different parts which you have to, after collecting the general plan, you have to rep, uh, write a report. And as I told you that it's very interesting, it's very important publishing the information. Not only this, uh, the passport data, but as I told you, you should write a diary Daily, daily, you should write a diary, a diary daily that on this day where I visited, what I, what I have seen, that type of information. You can write a story and a travel log you can write on that and then you can publish the information in any journal or any good journal. Okay? What are the do's and don'ts? What you have to do or what you, do, you should not do? That get acquainted with the international code of conduct. What is the international code of conduct? for pranayam general collecting and transfer of FAO as per 1993 
always keep a route map okay if you are going that which area you are visiting if you correct route map is not there district map local map you should carry with you before entering into the forest take the help of this forest guards to have for for forehand inform knowledge of the possible dangers in the target area if needed otherwise the the wild animals can uh, harm you okay explain the purpose and get consent from the farmers for collecting this germ uh, plasma so you can not directly approach the farmers field you should take the permission of the this farmer otherwise he will not give the material okay you should consent take the consent of prior consent is very important as far as in case of uh, this uh, bison reserve and uh, sanctuaries national parks you should also get a permission from the forest department otherwise they will not permit you to enter in the this uh, forest okay then keep important telephone numbers definitely if you are in some trouble you can take the help of that keep your identity card is very important honor uh, honor social customs of local residents of the target area at that time suppose in nes region in sunday there is a church they they will visit the church so at that time at on that date you can also take leave you cannot consult them you cannot contact them because they are busy in that so such type of information that is what you have to follow while take uh, take uh, talking and discussing with ladies the a polite be polite and respectful to them they are definitely okay after days collection and before retiring to the bed have a glance at your equipments whether available is there or not or you have lost you have you know left uh, leave somewhere passport data and collected material for need based updating you can cannot update this passport data whenever you are in the field you can update only after uh, resting at the time of resting okay don't don'ts do not provide lift to the strangers in your vehicle okay do not indulge in unnecessary discussion do not make false permission uh, promises with donors what happens whenever you are in the field you the farmers can ask that sir this is our crop so it is infected with some diseases will you some give some solutions so you if you are a tax if you are a pathologist or any biologist or any any expert in that disease only then you can promise or you can you cannot promise that okay i will give you the seed from our store from our gene bank or from any other seed store ha na so don't don't uh, promise promise like this okay so do not plan the expedition during important festivals or uh, the the uh, elections or like this okay do not enter any house for seed collection in absence of male members hasne ki baat nahi bhai okay do not eat unknown wild foods since some of them may may be toxic or uh, internally infected do not collect the seed in large quantity from any household if the farmers wish to zyada le jaoge to fir mare jaoge okay overall over collecting of the genetic diversity with similar attributes should be avoided to save time and energy in collection and evaluation and to save space in the national gene bank some points to remember what are these approach with tact collection is an art it's not uh, written whatever written in the literature not based on that it's a personal art how you interact with the farmers how you can uh, this uh, collect the sample what material you can collect so that depends on the personal art okay approach with tact behave politely with farmers explain the purpose of visit carefully be very informal so that they understand that you are one of them don't don't become a sab or scientist or like this okay do not try to extract try to share views so that they may speak out without reservation taking information is an art old people best source of information various weekly markets hearts may also be visited and conclusion the ingredients of the success plan well in advance as i told you involve local people be prepared to be flexible develop a search image choose collecting and processing techniques with care document the collection scrupulously take trouble with sample and then follow up is very important so this is the passport data here It's a very important document. Passport data, 
filling is very important. This is a pass meter seat. As first part you can see here date is very important. Collector number, yes. Collector number is given when unless uh, till it is assigned IC number. Okay. Collector number means whosoever is go, uh, gone there for collecting. Its initial number should be there and its initial number should be uh, slashed with the number of samples what you have collected. If suppose you have collected 50 samples, then 50 is finished, next explosion if you will conducting, then you start from 51. Maybe the team member may be other, may be other, but start from 51 so that you can know that yes, I have collected 50 samples numbers accession from first in first explosion, uh, second started. Likewise, in, the, uh, in your career, you can say that this much number of accessions I have collected. Okay, so that should be the collector number is very important. Accession number after fulfilling all digit bank standards is assigned. Botanical name is very important. If you are not say, sure that it is the same species or the, the botanical name is correct, after multiplying it, you can show it to the taxonomist. He can identify this or you can consider the herbaria, common name, crop, particular name, and cultivar name. Again, it is very important. Crop, particular name will help you in identification of the material. If it is you are unable to identify, naturally this particular name will be mentioned in certain literature. If it is available, then you can identify, oh, oh this name was that. So it may be, it is, it you can connect. This is the easiest way to identify the material. Then cultivar name, again cultivar name is very important. Means, as I told you just now, I explained this land is, what is land is? So land is name is assigned by the farmers. They give it a land as name on the basis of their traits and some characteristics. It calls, it is named as a folk taxonomy. Okay, it covers under the folk ta folks taxonomy. They give the on the basis of color. They give it a name to on the basis of traits, taste, or other things. So that name should be mentioned here. Suppose, dhan rice. It calls dhan, but not dhan is not a its name. What is the name of that particular land is what you have collected? So named land days collection is very important. If you will not collect land named land is, it has you will what name you will give to that. So collecting the land is and not only recording the name of the land is name, but also ask them what is the meaning of this? Why you have given this, this name? Explain. It will tell the trait about the trait. So that is very important. Okay. So this is the region explored, village, block, district, state, latitude, longitudes. You have to use GPS nowadays. You have got the facility with your phones, cell phone, altitude. These are the very important. And then that these are the different parameters uh, like collection site from which area you have collected natural wild, disturbed wild, farmer's field, threshing. Just you have to tick which from which uh, site you have collected. Biological status, wild, whether it was wild, whether it was UVD, land days, primitive cultivars, bidder's line, frequency, whether it was available in the abundance, it was rare, it was frequent, it was occasional, that you have to, depending on your own observations. Material, what in what form you have collected? Seed, fruit, in process, root, tubers, rhizomes, suckers, live plants, and herbarium, and any other part. Pollen you can collect, vegetative propagated material, in vitro material you can collect, depends on the collection methodology. Then breeding system, self pollinated, cross pollinated, vegetatively propagated, sample type, population, pure line, individual plant, sample method, bulk, you have bulk it, you have randomized, selective, non-random sampling you have followed, habitat, cultivated, disturbed, partly disturbed, rangeland or any other habit habitat you have collected, local kitchen garden or other, any other habitat or disturbed habitat like this. Okay. Disease symptoms, if you are a good pathologist or uh, like this, you can sense that it has got some diseases that anybody can sense. Okay. Then insect pests again, cultural practice irrigated from where you have collected, irrigated field, rain bed, arid weight area, season, which season you have collected this material. Kharif season, Ravi season, spring, perennial type, associated flora. What was the, the other flora in case of crop, um, cultivated this crop qualitatives were associated with that and or it is it, this crop was mixed with any other crop that you have to mention here. Okay, soil color, soil texture, topography, agronomic score, 
these are very important. Then ethnobotanical uses, as I told, I just explained, it is very important whenever you are collecting, you are seeing in a, in a village, some people they are like leafy vegetable, like uh, example, example here, leafy vegetable they are grow, collecting and they are taking, then what, what is the use of that? What for, for what purpose you are getting. So you have to which part is being used locally and what kind for which, which purposes, food purposes, medicine purposes or any other. Then not only this but how it is used, processing of utilization, how it is used. Then who are, who are the informants, who has given this information to you, whether it was from the local Baidya, housewife, wife, old folk, graziers, shepherds or any other saints or any other, okay. Then photograph is very important. Nowadays, it's very easy to take the, any photograph of any plant. It's very important taking photo. If you can do the videographing, you can do. And then farmer's name is very important in that past data. Farmer's name should be recorded. Its address, ethnic group, if any tribal or local farmers you have visited, its name, ethnic group should be mentioned here. Plant characteristics, again, if some characters you are unable to just identify that characters you can record, you can mention here and additionally notes or uses or other things you can record here. You, you can make a line diagram also if it leaves, you are unable to identify, you are unable to explain it, you can make a line diagram that. Then this is the last after collecting the gen plant material, this materials, the material should go along with this passport data sheets. This is the brief of this passport data format, okay. This is the passport data form in which you have to mention these things, collector's name and address, collaborating institutes, name of scientists and address, area export, duration, yes duration from which start you start and to end date, here collector number. IC number is assigned after this sending it for the accessing, crop names, botanical name, cultivar, land days name, biological status, type of material, collection date, collecting site, acquisition source, frequency, then again here sample type, sampling method, habitat, site of collection, village, mandal, district, state, latitude, longitude, altitude and ethnobotanical information, any uh, local information, a remark, state specific uh, in information if you can record, you have to mention here. And this for alerting IC number, the complete completed sheets should be sent along with samples as, as per the standard 2004 self, 4004 cross pollinated to the, the head, deep general plant expression gen plant collection, he will pass on to the national gene bank for its uh, Access, accessing, okay. And in case of this uh, 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 vegetative propagated material, suppose tree or some fruit crops, you should, because it is really maintained at that particular station, institute. So you should give a certificate that, okay, this is maintained in our station, in our field gene bank, so that I am, I want the accession number for that particular material, okay. So this is, this was the all about range of activity, 100 to 100 feet per day, <coughs> traveling is sufficient. In daily routine, when halting at a place, 50 to 100 kilometers is enough from campsite to campsite. Much time will be needed if wild natives are to be collected. Further, herbarium material is also collected in route and time is also required to take. These are the some of the habitats what we have visited in different difficult areas. You can see that these are the variety what we have collected in different crops. And these interaction with the farmers, local farmers, he, a progressive farmer here, he is maintaining a seed bank, this uh, uh, community seed bank, okay. He is maintaining the different seeds in that, the, 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 his area. And then we are also trying to explain our purpose or uh, in the schools and colleges that what, what is the meaning of conservation of general plan, okay. So these are the some of the collection te technology that how difficult it is to collect the material from the tree, they will taking the help of this. This this is the long lianas that how to collect this lianas and this is the tree climbing on the tree. It is not easy to collect. This is Chironji tree, okay. So these are the some of the specific material like job steer. Have you heard about the job steer? 
it is a hard shell type is available in all through the country but the soft shell types is is a cultivated form is grown in the nes region basically this is the this is the job steer this is one of the interesting uh, 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 material in dyscoria it is used basically bihar from anybody is from bihar at the time of chhat this is used as a prasad this is the this uh, one of the interesting material grown in the uh, hot desert brassica tonifortae okay see it is uh, uh, this sweet seed oil and used in the albigo disease or this okay and this is the fern used in the mostly in the hilly areas and uh, this is a one of the uh, clemenia progabens again is tuber crop grown in the nes region and this is the as i told you the leafy vegetable it is not only used as, as leafy vegetable but also used in the treatment of the this uh, high well pressure and this be grateful to the farmers before leaving never forget to convey your gratitude remember plant expression is a personal lord that's all thank you any question if questions uh, you can discuss with sir during lunch time actually we okay. are running behind time so we'd like to thank uh, dr k c but for taking uh, time uh, for uh, taking his uh, time out of his busy, busy schedule thank you so much uh, sir as a token of gratitude we would like to present you a memento <laughs> Thank you. 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 क्या हो गया से अपने थैंक यू